mistakes, please bear in mind that there is letter S at the end of the word. It is the science that deals with the study of motion of projectiles. It is the field of mechanics concerned with the launching, flight behavior, and impact effects of projectiles. It also involves the study of firearms and ammunition. It is an area of forensic science which applies the scientific method to solving crimes. It also helps to determine how and why firearms are used in the commission of crimes. Let us know where the word ballistics derived from. The origin of the word ballistics derived from two Greek words, the word balio and the word bargain, which literally mean to throw. The term also said to have been derived from the Roman war machine called ballista, a gigantic catapult which was used to hurl missiles or large objects at a distance like stones. Let us determine the distinction between ballistics, forensic ballistics, and firearm identification. First, ballistics, as we previously def defined, it is the study on the motion of projectiles. It focuses on the behavior, the motion, the movement of the projectile while on its flight. While forensic ballistics, it is the application of ballistics principle to legal matters or for court presentation or litigation. While firearm identification, it is science of identifying the imperfections or irregularities of firearms in matching the marks they put on bullets and cartridge cases fired through them. It is believed that no two firearms have the same imperfections and irregularities. Thus, it is accurate in the forensic science to determine using the slug or examination of the slug and other evidence that may help the ballistician to determine whether the firearm was used in the commission of crime. The evidence that was found in the crime scene where this R5 bullet, we term it as slug. It is the evidence which the ballistician used to examine and determine what fire. Next, what is motion? Motion refers to the mobility or movement of the projectile. And when we say projectile, it refers to the bullet that passes through the barrel of the firearm. As a bullet is fired from a rifle, grooves in the interior of the barrel cause it to spin. This not on this is not only happen to a rifle, but it also happen to the other firearms that have lands and roots. The spinning motion stabilizes the bullet and increases its distance and accuracy. Moving forward, we will now talk about branches of ballistics. The first branch of ballistics is interior or internal ballistics. It refers to the properties and attributes of the projectile while inside the gun. Any movement or reaction that takes place while the bullet is still in the gun 
is covered by this branch of ballistics. Again, it involves all reactions, motion, behavior, movement of the projectile that take place while the while it is still inside the gun barrel. Next branch is the transitional ballistics, also known as intermediate ballistics. It is the study of projectile's behavior from the time it leaves the muzzle until the pressure behind the projectile is equalized. This will take place right after the projectile moves from the gun muzzle. It lies between internal ballistics and external ballistics. Showing the example in our presentation, the reaction that is taking place at the moment the projectile moves out from the gun muzzle where there is a muzzle blast. Next ballistics is the external or exterior ballistics. It refers to the attributes and movements of the bullet after it has left the gun muzzle. But take note, it happens when the transitional or the intermediate ballistics took place. So at the moment, after the transitional or intermediate ballistics took place, bef until before it hits the target, is covered by the external ballistics. It is the movement or the flight of the projectile right after the transitional and before hitting the target. Next ballistics is the terminal ballistics. It is the study of the behavior of a projectile when it hits its target. It deals with the destructive actions and effects that occur at the end of the projectile's flight. So, there is terminal ballistics phenomena that occur, maybe one or a combination of the following. First is the indentation. This happens when the projectile hits the target already. Next is the penetration. When the projectile able to penetrate the target. And the last one is the perforation when the projectile able to move out from the target. So again, this may occur one or this may occur more than one or a combination of these two. It may have, there might be indentation only or there might be an instance where indentation and penetration may happen or sometimes these three are present at the moment that the projectile able to move out from the target. Next ballistics is the shot ballistics. It refers to the study of shots from the smooth bore firearms like shotgun and muskets. Why this Shotgun and musket are called smoothbore smooth bore firearms because both have no lands and grooves, which are only used for short distance to hit its target. 
Next ballistics is the wound ballistics. It is the study of the effects of a projectile on a target and the conditions that affects them. The one of the or cause one that caused by the impact of the projectile may helps also to determine what firearm was used because sometimes slugs are uh, remained inside the body of the victim which helps the ballistician and the investigator to find out what might be the what might be the firearm used by the perpetrator to cause one injury to the victim the one may also help to determine the distance between the perpetrator and the victim by determination of the gunshot residue so it may tell you whether it is a contact close discharge or distance discharge at the right corner or at the right end of the slide shows a distance distance discharge because the wound is not surrounded by the gunshot residue but the first one at the left it shows it is a contact discharge because looking at on the formation of the gunshot residue that surrounds the gunshot wound the gunshot wound may also helps the investigator to determine the distance between the perpetrator and then the victim by looking at on the trajectory so it will help the investigator to reconstruct where would be the possible location of the perpetrator and the victim at the time of the commission of crime next ballistics is the forensic ballistics which was mentioned earlier now let us know the mechanism of the firearm it is not enough to say that you are already expert by saying you know how to shoot a target using your firearm it is essential to know the basic importance on how the firearm works when the cartridge is loaded into the magazine and the moment that you pull the trigger it causes a firing it causes the firing pin to strike the primer the primer fire up the gun powder and the flaming powder generates pressure the pressure pushes the bullet down the barrel and out the muzzle it is the gun powder that causes and gives pressure that able to propel the bullet forward next let us know the gun safety rules that is very important to avoid any accidents or unwanted incidents so first always treat the gun as loaded even if you know that there is no cartridge loaded in the magazine always treat it that the gun is loaded always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction always keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you are ready to shoot avoid to be being a trigger happy then always keep the gun unloaded until you are ready to use it and never point the gun at anything you don't intend to destroy 
So I believe you learn a lot pertaining ballistics, including the mechanisms of a firearm, how a firearm works, and including also the uh, general rules, what to remember in using. Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the King Kong, banging on your 